Well, there it is. The cure to so many things. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, wherever you are. I want to talk a little bit today about the amazing benefits of oil swishing or oil pulling. Did you know that um, it is, it is a, it's really a, rep a reported cure to mouth, to gum disease, to stiff joints, allergies, asthma, high blood sugar, um, constipation, migraines, I mean your heart, your kidney, eczema, chronic infections, I mean it really goes on and on as far as some of the benefits that you're going to see from doing some oil swishing. So today I want to share with you a little bit of my own personal story on swishing with oil um, and then I've included some links below so that you can do your own CSIing, so you can do your own research and, and find out more about it so I won't make the video too long. But I will tell you this, I've had bleeding gums before in my life and I was concerned about that and uh, I started oil swishing with coconut oil and within a week they were gone. My next visit to the dentist, my dentist goes, your teeth are firmer, uh, they're whiter, all the bacteria is gone and you know we know that this works because there's a, a guy by the name of Dr. Karsh and he actually examined the gargled white milk you know that comes out under a microscope so it was like at a 600 magnification and he saw all the live organisms swimming in it and it's all poisonous so you never want to swallow it okay you don't gargle it uh, the poisons are bacteria embryos which if you don't spit them in your sink eliminate them uh, then it's not going to be a good thing. But there are people who have cured, you know, 15 years of arthritis, blood diseases. I mean, it is an amazing thing to do. Now, one of the things that you have to follow up your oil swishing routine. Now, I do it in the shower in the morning because I'm just there anyway doing my thing. So I take a, a, a teaspoon and put it in there. It's solid, but my body heats it up and I just swish it around, okay? And I do that for, you know, about 10 to 15 minutes. And then right after that, I follow it up with some uh, Perio Wash. Now, this company here is amazing. You'll see the link for it. Uh, lots of great stuff in here. And I also use their toothpaste. Their toothpaste is really, really amazing. There's no junk in this stuff. And, of course, I have my Sonicare. Uh, you say, do I need to brush my teeth anymore? Well, essentially, no. But a good oral rinse afterwards is wonderful. I mean, that coconut oil gets into everything. You, you're, you will feel lighter, more refreshed. You'll wake up. You'll sleep better. The dark, puffy things under your eyes will be gone. Um, this is a, an ancient Ayurvedic medicine uh, practice. It's been around for many years. Uh, the tongue actually has, if you look at some ancient Chinese pictures of the tongue, just like the bottom of our feet, you know, when we have all the places in our body, we have, some of you have gotten a foot massage, we call it reflexology, all the points in your feet, the tongue is the same way. So the oil actually stimulates the tongue as well. So start getting some oil swishing going. Let me know how that, uh, how that does for you. Send some uh, video back. Uh, if you haven't done a cleanse yet, okay this is a great way to cleanse but take a shower from within you know one of the reasons a person has bad breath is number one is all the bacteria in the mouth coconut oil and the coconut swishing is going to do that the other is not cleaning the gut because when really the breath that unhealthy stuff you like you're going to kiss somebody and you're like oh you know you want to pop a certs in there it's because the gut's unhealthy because they really haven't cleaned it out they haven't done a cleanse and so all that putrefication, all that toxification, that comes out in somebody when they're speaking at you, right? So you can download the free cleanse. It's, uh, I, it's right up there. You know in these videos when you like go like this, it's like your left is your right. I know it's right up there. I've got a little video tutorial. It's free, so you can't go wrong. It's a drink till dinner cleanse, or you can just drink all day long, however you'd like to do that. Um, also have a food fingerprint, a mini one, a special. And if you haven't gotten your food fingerprint, then you're just eating the foods. It's like playing roulette. You're just spinning the marble and wondering, well, what food am I going to eat today? And I'll tell you, that that's the wrong way to eat because some food is great for one person. It's, it's their medicine, and for another, it's their poison. I got a, a message this morning from one of my clients who did his food fingerprint three weeks ago, and he said he's already down 10 pounds. And I asked him what he did this week, and he said, things I did this week, he said, I threw out all my peanut butter, threw out all my coconut ice milk ice cream, and then he wrote honest things about me. Ingo felt that I always 
will be barrel chested and that is the way it is. Felt I'm always going to be stuck at my scale weight of 236, old scale. He bought a new scale, body fat and everything so he could send me because all my coaching, because people see me speak and meet me, is done over the phone, through the internet, through Skype. So that's how it works. All the lab testing is done that way. Then he writes, now he feels within time and effort this all can be changed. He also writes, have no real food cravings at all. This guy always used to crave sugar, craved sandwiches like crazy, okay? But he got his right fuel mix. He got his food fingerprint. We fine-tuned it over three weeks. That's what we've been doing. This is his fourth week. He says he looks at things and is determined as he wants not to waste any calories. So in other words, he's eating better food. He doesn't want to waste food, and that's going to help him achieve his goal. Number three, he writes, wearing t-shirts to CrossFit that I would have never worn before because they were too small and not that flattering. Okay, And you know what a great thing to get into some clothes and fit in them again. And he writes, for the first time, I think that stress may be holding me back on losing weight and that I look at food when I get home as a reward for a hard day. Now, how many of us have done that before? How many are doing it right now? How many want to go grab something like right now while you're listening to me because I'm stressful? No, it's not that bad. He says, that needs to change, and I'm going to kickstart that on my vacation. He's leaving on Sunday. He said, uh, in closing, he said, I feel like I've turned that page and know I'm in this for the long haul. Because I don't want to go back. I do feel so much better, and I have great stamina. Now, he was a client of mine three years ago, called me up and says, you know, we lost about 15 pounds. He says he never really put it into action. So the food fingerprint is so important. And there's part of cleansing as part of that, but each cleanse is different for, for each person that I work with. So anyway, uh, looking forward to uh, hearing how your oil swishing is going. And there's lots of different oils that you can use. You'll see that on the links. I like the coconut oil. A lot of people use peanut oil. Some use sesame oil. Olive oil is a big one. But you'll get a chance to, to investigate your own healthy living. Thanks so much for uh, letting me ramble on. Have an amazing rest of the day or evening whenever you're watching this. Okay, I'm going to find the little stop button on here and uh, stop myself. There I am. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.